Welcome back to databases. In this lecture, we are going to look at the structured query language, SQL. So we will learn how to retrieve data from a relational database. First, let's get acquainted with the example database that we will be using throughout this lecture. We have three tables. We have a students table, we have an exercises table, and we have a results table. The students table contains the students that participate in the course. The exercises table contains the exercises. This could be midterm homework or exam exercises. And we have a results table that tells what student has obtained what result for which exercise. The students table has columns SID for student ID. The student ID uniquely identifies the student, so SID is a primary key for this table. Every student has a first name, a last name, and the student may or may not have an address. For simplicity here, the address is simply the city of residence. And the address may not be known, then we have the value null. So this field is empty. The exercises table has columns category, number, topic, and max points. The category is the category to which the exercise belongs. There are three possible categories. It could be the exam, midterm exam, or homework. Every exercise has a number, and the category together with the number form the primary key for this table. So the category and the number together uniquely identify the exercise. The topic is a textual description of the content of the exercise, and we have a max points. That's the maximum number of points you can obtain for this exercise. The results table has columns SID, which is a foreign key referencing the students table. So this tells what student has obtained the particular result. It has co columns category and number, which refer to the exercises table. So category and number together uniquely identify the exercise. And we have a column points, that tells how many points has a student obtained for the particular exercise. 